Hello, it's Ozzy Malik here, back at it again with another 3 minute tutorial. Today is overclock a new graphics card in 3 minutes or less. It will take you about 20 minutes to complete and it's so easy, anyone can do it. Remember, if you find this video helpful to like and subscribe, and if you want to be a real hero, share it to one of your friends too. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, first up is to install MSI Afterburner, link in the description, so we're just going to go ahead and download this. If you don't know already, MSI Afterburner is an overclocking tool for GPUs. Put simply, it will allow us to overclock and check all the temperatures across your system. So once this is downloaded, we're going to open the file, and we're just going to install the program. Just going to go through the usual installation process here. Now this is River Tuner. Um, it allows you to put overlays on your games, tell you stats. We're just not going to install this. Okay, once that's installed, I want you to go to the bottom right and click the Jet logo. That's going to open MSI Afterburner. I want you to hop into Settings and check Start Windows and Start Minimized. Click Apply and OK. Then I want you to bring your core voltage to 100% and your power limit to 120 or whatever the max is. This is going to allow the GPU to draw as much voltage and power as it needs to achieve the overclock that the OC tool decides. I recommend you unlink the temperatures and set this to a sensible temperature, either that you want or that is suitable for your graphics card. 80 is going to be safe for most people. Um, if you're on water cooling or similar, this will be pretty much irrelevant to you. Then I want you to click the OC tool or the signal logo. They both do the same thing. And this is going to bring up the Voltage Frequency Curve Editor. Now what this tool is going to do is find a new curve for your GPU within these parameters. Now it's a safe overclock and we will validate it afterwards. So you're just going to click OC Scanner and click Scan. Okay, once that's completed, you'll see it scanned four voltage points through one to four in the amount it's overclocked by. Make sure you come down here and click the tick. That's going to save the settings. And you can see on the right the new curve it's applied to your GPU. Now I'm going to want you to head over to Profiles and unlock the little padlock. Click Save. Click 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It doesn't matter. Unlock the padlock again. Now click Test and this is going to test the overclock. So there we go. Once the test completes it gives you a confidence level. 90% is great. The whole process has taken about 20 minutes and just like that you've netted yourself some free performance. Unlock the padlock and check the apply at startup box. Lock the padlock again and minimize the program. Now every time you start your computer, it will run. Now what I do recommend you do, as always, is go run some of your games, see how it runs. And if everything's running good and you get no crashes, you're good to go. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful and brief. It's by design to give you everything you need without bogging it down with over explanation. Following these simple steps really can net you free performance and for some that can really make a difference. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you found something you didn't like, give it a comment. Remember to go check me out on Twitter and Twitch. Catch you later.